This is a Vex design here, and today I'm going to create negative space between an object and a stroke. Uh, I see a lot of people doing this, and they always use, try to use the pen tool and do it themselves around objects or type. Um, I mean, this, this technique works with objects, typography, works with anything you create. Um, it's just to get a gap between something. So I normally use it for stickers or borders. Um, you know, it's just to make sure you keep it precise, really, rather than using the pen tool. So I'm going to start off by um, getting the artboard like so. I want to use the get the type tool and uh, I'm just going to type in vex. Make sure it's in capitals. You can actually type in whatever you want. You can actually use um, objects, shapes, squares, circles, whatever you want. I'm going to click off this, and I want to turn this actually into an object, into a vector, rather than stay in the type format. So if we actually hit expand. Make sure you got the object in the fill ticked, and hit OK. As you see, it's turned into a vector, and what we want to do, we want to hold shift and we want to bring it out. If you hold shift, it will resize without it um, going crazy. So we'll just keep it centered. Use a line, line to the top. Right now, we want to create this white gap in between. We want to create the actual negative space in between. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, I'll show you how to do it. So if we actually copy this. Command and C, and then Command on F. This will copy on top, like so. So make sure this this is just a stroke. Make sure the top layer is just a stroke, and this bottom layer here is actually a fill, uh, a stroke. Sorry. So I'm going to show you the different types of strokes. It's very important in this part. So the stroke alignment at the minute is it's centered it's doing nothing it's neutral it is what it is you can also have the stroke inside of an object and you can also have it on the outside of an object this is very important we need the stroke to be on the outside make sure it's on the outside of the object because when it's on the outside of the object this is going to be your gap so it's up to you on what weight you want. I'm probably going to ha have the same as on the other page. So it's going to be about a four. And what we want to do, make sure it's on the outside, the stroke. We want to go back to object and we want to expand appearance. And now it's expanded the stroke into a fill, into an actual shape. So if we go to the shape building tool here, and we're going to actually build the stroke in as well as the uh, into the fill, the shape. So we've got a full object now. So all I'm doing is make it, making it really thicker, making making the type thicker. Let me actually put a stroke back onto this, and as you'll see, it's created. A gap in between. Uh, pretty easy. Hope you're with me so far. Um, I'm trying not to complicate things. It's really, uh, really basic um, techniques at the minute. You can go really deep with this technique. Uh, so we want to do the middle section now. So it's pretty much the, basically the same thing. If we copy again this top section, bring it down. Again. We want to turn this to a stroke, but this time you have to make sure it's on strokes inside the object, not outside, inside. Again, it's up to you, depending on the gap you want. So change the weight. I've, I'm going to put the weight to about two. This is the gap that's going to be in the middle. So um, again, we want to go to object, expand. This time, Go to the shape building tool. We don't want to actually make the whole lot an object. We just want this middle section. So all we're going to do is point 
and just drag a little bit so it goes black like that. So we just want this as the object. We just want the middle bit. That's all we want. And we're going to actually delete the stroke after I've uh, made these middle sections objects. Delete. I'm going to delete the stroke now. What I'm going to do, quite time consuming. Not a lot, but just double click and then I just want to delete the stroke like that. Double click on the stroke, just delete, quite boring. As you can see, it's a lot skinnier, so it's going to actually fit in the middle. Turn it white, take the stroke off, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go in here. Just gonna try and saw it out a little bit. Now you can. I mean, I'm just gonna do with your base here. You can take as much time as you want to make sure it's all centered. But there you have it. You have gaps in between. So there's three layers of just gaps. So if we're gonna bottom layer we're going to actually change the color to the use the eye dropping tool and we're going to turn it green that stroke and then if you look at the black don't forget this white layers on top like that so don't get confused it's not a stroke and that black layer that's actually going to go this green and that's just going to stay white for the time being i'm actually going to cut this in half right now so we've got the pen tool and Hold shift and then click again. This will keep the line straight so it won't be wonky. And I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. Like so. And by clicking that and holding shift and holding the top layer, this white layer here, like so, we're actually going to get rid of the top half of this line. I'm going to do this by using the shape build tool. I'm just going to drag and I'm going to drag. It's just an easier way of just cutting shapes, pretty much. It's the way I do it. And I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to delete that top half. Get rid of this invisible line. So, so there you have it. You kind of have, you kind of get the idea of what's going on. You can actually, you know, as down here, you can actually put layers on top, uh, patterns on top. So we're actually going to turn this, this layer here. We're going to actually going to put a pattern on top, like so. And if you actually, because it's black at the mini, if you actually go to the, the transparency, you, as you can see, you've got. You can, you can actually change this from a normal to, I normally use like um, a screen, it makes it go white, it screens what under, whatever's underneath. So that's the technique that I use. Um, so there you have it, you have a space, negative space, accurately separated. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you again in my next tutorial. I hope I haven't complicated things. Have fun with it and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.